Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to be back. Uh, another episode of Quick Hits. Um, it is fight week. It is a major fight week. Triple G and Canelo 3. Where's the hype, though? I'm not feeling any hype for this fight. Like, I'm really not. Are you guys feeling like the hype that you did for the first two? Um, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the card. We're going to get into it and, and why this thing is... I, I don't... We'll get into it. Uh, please, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news. Remember, please follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. We're in the Rio Grande Valley this weekend. We got a lot of more content for you guys, a lot of up-and-coming fighters in the RGV. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube as well. Um. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So I want to get into uh, today's show just real quickly. Um, so the first two Triple G fights, Triple G Canelo fights were fantastic. Um, they were huge events, blockbuster events. Uh, you know, you must see TV. Um, and this isn't. Um, you know, I, I, I guess there's more money in this fight than any other reasonable Canelo fight at the moment, I suppose, which is why they're making it. Um, you know, I, I don't really know anyone who's clamoring for this fight like that, like they gotta have it. Um, Triple G is getting one last payday and then he's going to go into the box hall of fame and this will be it for him. Um, I, I think Canelo, just put it out there, is going to dismantle him. I, I don't think this fight is, you know, ultra competitive like the first two. Um, and I just want to go back. Um, the first fight was in 2017. The second fight was in 2018. That's a long time ago. The second fight was four years ago. Four years ago. The first fight was five years ago. This fight is way, way past its expiration date. Um, you know, you, you go back and you look at what, you know, since the second fight. Um, yeah. Triple G. Uh, Canelo has won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights and lost one. Seven and one, including the pandemic in the interim there. Uh, that's eight fights, and he's gone on to you know, 568 and uh, went up to 75 and uh, you know lost. Or he, he beat Fielding in the interim, but he went up to 75 and lost to Baval. Now, flip that around. Triple G in the last four years since um, – since the Alvarez fight, he's fought one, two, three, four times. Four times in four years. He's got a win over Steve Rawls. He's got a horrible, no good, bogus decision over Sergei Derevchenko, uh, which they was, you know, and then he's got a win over Shamarja, and then he has a win over Murata. So I, I just want to look at what Triple G has done <clears throat> over the last four years since that last Canelo Alvarez fight, which I think is, was his last moment of greatness. Um. He, he beat Steve Rolls um, nine months later. Uh, then four months after that, he came back, got a bogus decision against Sergey Derevchenko. That was in uh, October of 2019. After that, he fought twice more. He took a year. He took 14 months off, fought Samarja, destroyed Samarja. That was right before Christmas 2020. Then uh, he took 16 months off after that, had the great fight with Murata, which he knocked him out in the ninth round. A great fight. Um, but that's it. You know, so so in reality, he's got a win over 
Murata, which he should win. Two B-level fighters in Samarja and Rolls, C-level fighters. And a bogus, no good, horrible decision over Derek Vinchenko, which no one thinks he won. So since then, like what is he, in four years, what has he done to make you think he can fight Canelo at Canelo's best weight? And Canelo's best weight is 68. Uh, what makes you think that he can do that at 40 years old? My point is there's nothing on the resume in those four in four years to make you think he can do this. He can't, he's gonna get blown out. Now the rest of the card is pretty good, right? Uh, well, the rest of the card's not bad. You got Bam. Everyone loves Bam. Um, and the call man. He's fighting Israel Gonzalez. It's not a great fight, but, you know, Bam's going to defend his title again. And Bam's going to be the fighter of the year. You have Ali Akhmadov uh, and Gabe Rosado. That's a super fun fight. And then you have uh, a- Aston Amber Williams in a major step-up fight with Kieran Conway. Um, it's a good fight. So those are good fights. You know Austin Williams had some weird layoffs. He's 11 and 0. Um, he's back. Um, he, he hasn't fought. Uh, he, he, yeah, he fought back in, uh, in, in April. Maybe Booker, the garden. Um, and he fought once in England. Um, so he's been a little bit active. He's fought, um, I guess his layoff wasn't that bad. After the Dublin fight in 2021, it was only nine months he took off. And he fought Catavius Cash, which was kind of a step back. Um, then he fought Javier Francisco Maciel, um, knocked him out, and then he, he destroyed Booker in the first round. You know, Austin Ammo Williams is a, is a really good fighter. He, he's got world champ written all over him. So I'm excited to see him fight. Kieran Conway, who I think is a good fighter. He got Pacheco and Castro on the card. They also had that guy Anthony Herrera. Um, on the card, uh, Anthony Herrera had a draw in his last time out, um, in, in Mexico with Kenyan Venezuela. Um, but he fought Jonathan Tejada at the Garden. If you guys remember, that was back, uh, back almost a year ago, November. Of uh, that was on TV, Mar Lopez, uh, and Cambosis. Um, and he got a, a win in that fight, and then he picked up another win, um, back in March of this year, and then he fought in, in June. Mexico got a decision. So that's kind of the card. You know, it, it's a decent undercard. It's not a bad undercard at all. You know, it's got Bam, it's got Austin, and then it's got, you know, a good fight in Gabe and, and uh, Aquadav, which is just a fun fight. Um, so the card's not bad, but I, and the main event's got name value, but it's not a great fight. And uh, Triple G is not going to be ultra competitive in this fight. And, you know, with the first two are appointment, you must watch television. This one is, people are going to stream this. People are going to stream this, you know, out of this. I, I don't see this doing even half as many as the first two did. I really, I don't see this getting to half a million. I don't. I don't see this doing half a million people. I don't see it. Not, not with the way this thing is going to be streamed. Because it's just not an intriguing fight. You know, people aren't setting their clock, setting their days, setting their calendar, counting down to this. You know, I, I, I hate to say it, but, you know, the loss, him coming off the loss doesn't help. Kind of coming off the loss. Triple G's inactivity doesn't help, right? Nothing he's done has, has helped to build this fight. And I, I think this is going to bomb a pay-per-view, right? You're getting a ton of pay-per-views. You're getting very little actual boxing on TV. Right, you don't get much boxing on TV. It's all streaming now on the zone. You know, Golden Boy cards, top rank cards on ESPN Plus, Matchroom cards. Now you're getting Matchrooms giving you pay per views. Like I want to sit and I want to, I want to pay. What What do they charge me for the seventy bucks on top of the increased price of the zone? You know, this is just uh, this is not going to do well. I, I, from it's it doesn't have the hype. No one thinks Triple G is going to win. No one. Does anyone in the sound of my voice think Triple G is going to win? And Eddie Hearn told us the pay per view model is dead, and that the zone killed it. And now I have to buy a pay per view on the zone. I'm not hoping they lose money on this, but they got to get away from this model. You know, I I don't know how Fox PBC is doing this with Fox. Who paid for Ortiz and Ruiz? Like, who's buying this? 
If they don't release the numbers anymore because they're bad, right? They're not getting 250, 200. They're not getting that. I mean, these are just – this is just bad. You know, it's, the fight's not bad. It's just that it's way past its expiration date. There's no – Way Triple G. Triple G has not looked like a pound for pound fighter. And, you know, Canelo is coming off the loss. I think his name has taken a little, you know, just a little bit, got tainted just a little bit in that Bavol fight because Bavol dominated him, right? Um, putting this on pay per view is just the wrong look right now. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think this is going to bomb uh, as a pay per view? Um, are you bothered that it's a pay per view? After Eddie Hearn told you, pay per view model is dead. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, twice a day. Uh, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, also, please subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 13th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.